Hello everybody, welcome to Painting with Menoth Scott. No, that's not it. Uh, painting with Scott. Painting poorly with Scott. Painting tabletop worthy with Scott. Painting lazily with Scott. I don't know. One of those will work. Um, so as you guys have been following along or not, I don't know. Uh, I've been painting uh, Crucible Guard like crazy, just cranking them out. Um, and I'm doing like a rust effect on them, which you can kind of see on here so I had a couple people ask me how I do it I mean it's super easy so I figured uh, instead of describing it over and over again I'll do a quick little video uh, so this guy's got a little piece over here that I want to change I don't love this one so I'm gonna make it a little bigger I uh, just want to see him on the table I'm always just like I'm like nah, I don't like that so I'm gonna fix that up um, hopefully if not whatever restart uh, and then here's one of my Toros and I decided that uh, over here on his right shoulder, left on the screen, uh, it's just too green. He needs to have some more rust effect over here. So the way we achieve that is with <coughs> Citadel's uh, technical stuff. Um, there we go, technical, typhus corrosion. Uh, this one you want to give it a good shake. And then you're going to follow that up with uh, another one. This is uh, the Citadel Dry Rise of Rust. You can't shake this one, it's such a thick goopy mess it's not meant to be shaken that's why you can see uh, the top is still clear because it doesn't matter if I turn upside down or shake it at all it's not gonna move because it's like almost it's thicker than mayonnaise anyways um, so there we go uh, for this I use uh, crappy brushes because I, mean, I don't care uh, so I have this one which I'm gonna apply uh, the rust on um, it's a nice brush but it's just old and then I have like this super old brush but it has a little bit of a firmer uh, bristles for dry brushing on the Rise of Rust. Uh, so, shake it up. Pop it open. And you can see inside, it has uh, just watery, goopy stuff. And there's a little bit, I don't want to call it sand, but they have some texture in there, which really makes the rust effect pop. So, and it'd be like Bob Ross. We're going to put some happy little rust over here. And just cake on some. Everybody else has their own take on how rust should be applied. Um, I don't care. I do it the way I like. So I'm just going to cake it on a little bit. I want the effect. So you can see it over there. I just caked it on. There was a little bit of a, a blemish on my model from the spur right there. And I kept noticing it. So now I'm covering it in rust and now I don't notice it anymore. That's what I love about this. Anytime, woo, anytime I make a mistake with paint, I can just cover it with the rust. So you can see that green part. It's really green. I'm going to put some rust there. I'm looking at it back here. I don't know if you can see right there. I made a cut when I was taking it off the spur, and that left some a nice gouge in it. So I'm going to, anywhere the green didn't quite stick or it was too dark from my layer, add the rust to it. Maybe a little more. It's still really green from the top. I can see where I'm applying it. I like it nice and thick. I want to have the rust in the... There you go. Boom. Oh, and I noticed that some of the gold has the green coming through right in here. So I'm going to rust that up too. There you go. That's all. Doesn't have to be pretty. The rise of rust will fix it all up later. That's going to take a while to dry though. So I grease it up on the gold part, rust it there, and then on the back. Done. So I'm off to dry. Alright. Now we have a suppressor. I want to fix this one. I don't love it for some reason. Just when I look on the battlefield and he's on the table. Um, right here I have another spot where I cut it off the spur. I kind of damaged. Just make it a little bigger. There, now when I look at it I don't hate it. Again, copious amounts of the typhus corrosion. 
and put it on however you like. Don't listen to the haters. My rust goes wherever it wants. It's kind of like a symbiote crawling up his arm. So there we go. Now we just got to wait for it to dry and I can put on the Rise of Rust. Back in a second. To you. All right. I think it's dried enough that I can move on. So again, I'm using this um, crappy brush. And on this suppressor, oh, it's going to break on me. So again, I told you, Rise of Rust. It's dry paint. When you open it up, you can see it's doesn't pour, it's just gooby. Gooby. Put it there like that. And then all I do, you can see my palette over here, it's covered in orange. <coughs> so take a little bit of the goop, and then I go over here, spin most of it off, and then kind of like you would a dry brush, just have enough on there. And then this little spot here, we can see there's some already, is where I'm going to add more. Yeah. You can see it on there. Just give it a little brush. Anywhere I didn't see any. Brush it on. Bam. Rusted. It's that easy. Did it do anywhere else on this guy, or is that it? My brain doesn't remember. I also went through and added some colored, uh, while I was waiting for it to dry, I colored as liquids for each spray. Purple, blue, and a greenish white. So he's done. He only had that one spot, I guess. Let's go back and watch my own video, figure if I missed any spots. Um, <clears throat> here's the Toro. Again, I've got the excess that I've left over here. Kind of get it on the brush, just spin the brush as I do it to get it on. And then just brush lightly. Hitting the edges. There's no wrong way to do it, really. I like it. Looks rusted. Done. Turn them all around. Where else did I hit them? Oh, I got some over here. I want a little more on this spot. Go back for some Riza. Corner. Rusted. I think those are the only two spots that I was doing on them. As I spin around, I don't see anywhere else. Oh yes, I did up in there on the gold and green. So it's a good thing I got a little extra. Goop it all on. And then if you get some of the excess off, you can go back and brush over it and it'll dull it a little bit. There you go, now he's got some rust toned down his right side. You can see the blood that I did on here as well. That's for blood for the blood god, another technical paint. That's it! That's how easy it is! Aren't you so glad that I just didn't type it out and did a video? Thanks for watching! Try to make sure your models are painted, people. They roll better when they're painted. <laughs>